These images that you're looking at right now have been generated by a tool called Flux One a new AI image generator that has been developed by Black Force Labs that aims to compete with tools like Midjourney, Ideogram, and other image generators like Dali 3. And honestly, it is pretty good. I've been testing it out for quite some time now, and if you're looking for a new AI image generator, then this might be the one that you need to try out yourself. In this video, I will give you a full tutorial on how you can use Flux from a beginner to an expert. There are multiple different ways of how you can get started with Flux, so in this video, I will show you three different ones, from basically starting for free to all the way to getting a paid plan that can literally make any cool AI images of yourself by training it through the model. First up, we go to blackforestlab.ai and here we click on Get Flux. Then this brings you to a new page and here we have three different models. Now, the first model is the Pro model. This is literally their best model that they have available. This is also pretty much their most expensive model, which makes sense. Then we have a developer model and this one is pretty good and has kind of like the quality of the pro but you can do a bit more of training you can do some other stuff like that developers do and then lastly we have the snell model or schnell as in german which stands for fast and the fast model is their fastest model uh, it doesn't give the best results but it is pretty fast on generating so in this video we're going to use flux one dev and we're going to use flux one pro I will show you exactly how. Now to try it out for free first, we are gonna try it on Hugging Face. Now to do this, we click on this icon right here and then you have to log in. I'm already logged in, but you need to create an account. Once you have created an account, you can get started with this. Now here we can pretty much get started for free. So we can just type in our sentence here. So let's do an astronaut looking at the moon. And now we can click on compute and now it will start generating our image with Flux One on Hugging Face. Now, in my opinion, this is also one of the slowest ones. This takes a bit of time. So if you're using this one, be patient with it. So here we have our image. We can just click on it, then right click, and then we can save the image right here. Now, this is the most simple way to use Flux One, but it's not the most advanced way. We don't have much things we can do apart from like changing the prompt. So let's go back to blackforestlabs.ai. And here we have two other options that I am going to show in this video. First one being is replicate. And replicate, this one is a bit better in my opinion. For this, you also need to create an account and you need credits for this. Otherwise, you cannot run this. But luckily, through Mentwolf's video, I found this link, which I will link in the comments down below, that gives you $10 in free credits that you can use for your videos. So on replicate right here, we can see that this image has been generated in five seconds which is really fast. We can also see that it costs about three cents to generate one image. So for $3, you get about 100 images, which is relatively cheap compared to a tool like Midjourney or other image generators that are out there. Here's how Flux One works on Replicate. So first of all, we're gonna use the form. Then for the prompt, we are gonna use a prompt that I have prepared, a small, cute, photorealistic hamster cracking out of an eggshell on Jupiter. Quite specific. So Flux1 is great at doing photorealistic stuff. So I'm just gonna mention photorealistic here. Then we can change the aspect ratio to however we want. I'm just gonna keep it at 1-1. One, one. Then we can use a reference for an image. Uh, so we can change our image if we want to do that. And then we have a few parameters, but I'm just not gonna go into that right now. We're just gonna run it like this and let's see what it creates. So here's the hamster that we have just generated. Looks quite cute. And what we can do now is we can download it and now it's downloaded to your PC. And if you want to use this image and you want to tweak it, then what you can do is you can take the seed that you have seen right here. Then you can use that in the seed. And this way you can generate something similar to what you've just generated. Let me explain some of the other settings. So the prompt strength goes about like how much uh, it wants to follow the prompt. I'm just gonna leave it at this number because it works quite well. Then you can change the number of outputs. So let's say we want to have two images. Keep in mind that this might cost you more if you generate more images. Then the steps it needs to follow in order to start generating your image. Minimum is ask of 28 or like not the minimum, but the default. 
you can keep it at that you can bump it like a little bit higher maybe to 30 and then the guidance is not really related to what we're doing right now so i will show you actually how that works later then you can also change the format so let's change it to a png for example and if you want to improve the quality of your output then you can do so right here so let's run this one and see what we get so now we have a white hamster and we have a brown hamster right there and both look very detailed i think i like this one a bit more so yeah this is literally how flux one works through replicate you get about like ten dollars if you use that link i'm not affiliated by any of these tools this is just a link that i found that will help you generate some images for free and now let me show you how you can make even more advanced images using the best model that is available on flux so to access this we're going to click on flux one pro and then we're going to click on this second icon which is fall.ai now this brings us over to flux one pro and here i would go to explore you can also just look up flux pro you say train a flux laura and here you can do advanced training and then you are gonna train it based on your own pictures now this is a bit complicated let me know if you want me to do an in-depth tutorial on this but basically what i've done is i've trained it right here and i've trained it using my face so keep in mind if you're doing this you're putting yourself on the internet i'm already on the internet so i don't care a lot but keep in mind people can use your prompt or can use your trigger word and they can be put on the internet people can do dark stuff with your face literally put you on any type of body so think for yourself if you want that i already know the risk i am pretty much at risk by making these videos so yeah i don't worry about it too much but basically what you want to do is you want to get like 10 images of yourself then you need to use the following structure so i have them right here so i have these 10 images of myself let me just show a few basically try to find selfies where you look straight into the camera so let me just watch them i'm a guy i don't make selfies of myself so i had to literally use thumbnail pictures right here and yeah try to find good images i made a mistake of me looking at the site and that's not what you want to do so get good images of yourself looking into the camera and then you can train the model for this so make sure to name all of your images let me just show it as a list make, make sure to name all of your images the following so you rename them and you say a underscore photo underscore of underscore and then you use your trigger board so for this one i use then k2 and then you leave the rest as a number doesn't really matter so what you then do is you make sure you get this as a zip file now i have it as a zip file and now i can just upload it right here i add in my trigger word so for me that was then k2 let me just double check that then k2 yeah and then it's using that zip of yours let me just check it if it's added and then what you do is you click on start and now this will start running right here keep in mind this can take like 15 to 20 minutes depending on how big your images are and once you've done that you can start generating images of yourself so here we can see it's it's getting started right now it's in progress and this takes some time now let me use the old interface that i've done earlier and what i can basically do now is i can say dan keeft so that's your trigger word holding a lightsaber now we can do some additional settings but let me just run it like this sometimes it doesn't work but most of the times it should work <laughs> so here we have it <laughs> yeah that looks just like me um that doesn't look like my arm but it looks like me but yeah, we can change a few things here. We can change the guidance scale. And if we change that, it will look more like you. And it can get a bit scary. So I'm just going to keep it around 11. Now I'm going to run it again. Keep in mind, this will cost you about three and a half cents per video. So then here we have another image of me. It even took my background. Yeah, it even took my background and copied it in there. My hair is crazy. Maybe I should grow it out. But you can do anything. So we can do, even do like Dan Kieft as a gladiator. Now let's just run this. Okay. Here's one of those examples where it doesn't work. Let me just be more specific. Let me change the guidance scale lower. And here we have me as a gladiator. And you see a common thing with my images are 
is that I'm looking to the side. And that's because one of my images I didn't show you in the folder because I deleted it already. One of the images is me looking at the side. So a lot of images that I have right here, they will look like I'm not looking into the camera. But you can even prompt it to say like, look into the camera, facing the camera. Let's see if that makes a difference. So damn, let me save that. I look like a Greek fucking god. Okay, yeah, so this doesn't work because I have that image, but you can be very specific about this. You can try anything. You can do Dan Kieft. Let me just think of something fun. Dan Kieft as a army soldier. Now let's run this. Now you can do this for anything. Like here, it kind of messed up, but it put me as a soldier together with my twin brother. That's a little bit shorter than me. But yeah, you get the point, right? It uses reference images and then it uses your face that you've trained it on to be as your face. So basically, please, please, please don't do weird stuff with this. AI comes with some kind of responsibility. Don't use this for not safe for work content. Don't do anything weird with that. It is meant to use for fun and have some fun with it. Try it out. Decide for yourself if you want to be on there. Uh, that's my disclaimer there. But yeah, be careful with what you put out on the internet because it can be used against you. Other than that, if you have any questions about Flux One or you want to see an in-depth tutorial on how to generate AI face images of yourself, let me know in the comments down below and I will make a video about it. If you want to learn more about AI tools, make sure to click the video that's on the screen right now.